Currently, there are a large number of Buddhist denominations that revere Nichiren Daishonin as their founder. However, only the second high priest Nikko Shonin, who established Taisekiji, upheld Nichiren Daishonin as the true Buddha of the latter day of the law and correctly inherited and propagated his teachings. Nikko Shonin was born on March 8, 1246, the fourth year of Kangen at Kajikazawa in Oi village of Kai province. As a child, he entered Shishugoin temple in Kambara village of Suruga province to receive education. There, he learned classical Chinese literature and calligraphy, poetry and Japanese calligraphy. In 1258, the second year of Shoka, when Nikko Shonin was 13 years old, Nichiren Daishonin visited Jisoshi, a temple near Shijuguin. There, Nikko Shonin met Nichiren Daishonin for the first time. After witnessing an enormous earthquake in Kamakura the year before, the Daishonin decided to compose the Risho and Kokuron he visited Jisoshi Temple in order to research the complete collection of the Sutras of Shakyamuni Buddha, which were kept in the temple's Sutra storehouse. Nikko Shonin was deeply moved by the Daishonin's virtuous demeanor. He asked the Daishonin to become his disciple and received the name Hoki Bo. Later, he was given the name Nikko. Due to submitting the Risho and Kokuron, Nichiren Daishonin encountered many persecutions, such as the exile to Izu in 1261, the first year of Kocho, and the exile to Sado Island in 1271, the eighth year of Bunei. Nikko Shonin always accompanied and served the Daishonin. While serving the Daishonin, Nikko Shonin propagated the true law in the provinces of Izu, Sado, and Kai, and the Fuji region of Suruga province. He led many priests and lay believers there to convert to the Daishonin's teaching. After three remonstrations with the government, Nichiren Daishonin entered Mount Minobu in Kai province, the region suggested by Nikko Shonin. Nikko Shonin propagated in the Fuji region and the priests and lay believers of other sects in the Atsubara area started to take faith in and practice the teachings of the Daishonin. Feeling threatened, the Nembutsu believers in the area plotted against them and began to persecute them. In 1279, the second year of Koan, they made false charges against 20 lay believers, including Jinshiro, claiming they were illegally harvesting rice. They had the 20 believers arrested and sent to Kamakura. And they threatened Jinshiro and the other Atsuwara believers, demanding that they abandon their faith in Namyo Horenge Kyo. However, the Atsuwara believers continued chanting Daimoku refusing to submit to the Nembutsu believer threats. Hei no Saenmon no Jo Yoritsuna, the leader behind this persecution, became infuriated with their determined attitude and finally ordered the beheading of the three lay believers, Jinshiro, Yagoro and Yarokuro. Hearing about the occurrence of this persecution, Nichiren Daishonin saw that the faith of his disciples and lay believers truly manifested the spirit of not begrudging one's life. He felt that the time had come, and on October 12, he inscribed the Daigo Honson of the High Sanctuary of the Essential Teaching, which is the ultimate purpose of his advent. In 1282, the fifth year of Koan, Nikko Shonin received the transmission of the heritage of the law entrusted to a single person directly from Nichiren Daishonin. He inherited the Daigo Honson of the High Sanctuary of the Essential Teaching and the entirety of Nichiren Daishonin's Buddhism. 
In the document for entrusting the law that Nichiren propagated throughout his life, Nichiren Ichigo Guho Fusokusho, the Daishonin entrusted the entirety of his teachings to Nikko Shonin and designated him as the great master of propagation of the essential teaching. In the Minobusan transfer document, Minobusan Fusokusho, the Daishonin appointed Nikko Shonin as his successor as chief priest of Minobusan Kuonji Temple and stated that those who disobey Nikko Shonin were going against the law. Nichiren Daishonin, entrusting the entirety of his teachings to Nikko Shonin, peacefully passed away on October 13, 1282. As the head of the priesthood, Nikko Shonin officiated the funeral ceremony of the Daishonin. As the chief priest of Minobusan Kuonji Temple, Nikko Shonin maintained and protected the gravesite of Nichiren Daishonin and devoted himself to propagation in various areas and the education of his disciples. However, the priest ordered that Nikko Shonin's direct disciples did not follow the will of the Daishonin. One day, three years after Nichiren Daishonin's passing, Mimbo Nikko, one of the Daishonin's disciples, made a pilgrimage to Mount Minobu. In the beginning, he followed Nikko Shonin's guidance, but he gradually disobeyed the Daishonin's teaching of a strict admonishment against the slander of the law and accepted and carried out slanderous acts. Furthermore, Hakiri Sanenaga, who was the feudal lord of Mount Minobu and originally had started practicing due to Nikko Shonin's propagation efforts, committed four slanderous acts against the law. He had been incited by Mimbo Nikko and refused to follow the repeated admonishment of Nikko Shonin. Sanenaga finally made the disrespectful declaration that his master would be Mimbo Nikko. Their behavior drove Mount Minobu into a condition of slander. It became a slanderous mountain against the law. Following the will of Nichiren Daishonin, that when the Lord of Mount Minobu goes against the law, I, Nichiren, will no longer reside there. Nikko Shonin, determined to leave Mount Minobu after witnessing the slanderous behavior of Mimbo Nikko and Hakiri Sanenaga. The Daishonin left instructions to establish the true high sanctuary of Komonji Temple at Mount Fuji. In order to realize the Daishonin's great will, Nikko Shonin and his disciples left Mount Minobu with all the sacred treasures, including the Daigo Honson of the High Sanctuary of the Essential Teaching and the ashes of the Daishonin. Nikko Shonin received a contribution of the vast land of Oishigahara at the foot of Mount Fuji from Nanjo Tokimitsu, the lord of the Fuji Ueno region and established Taisekichi Temple on October 12, 1290, the third year of Sho. This is Nichiren Shoshu Head Temple Taisekichi today. Nikko Shonin built the foundation for the propagation of true Buddhism for the 10,000 years and far into the future in the latter day of the law. Thereafter, Nikko Shonin placed Nichimoku Shonin in charge of the maintenance and protection of Taisekichi Temple and moved to the Omosu area. In Omosu, he made every effort to nurture and educate his disciples for the perpetuation of the law. Furthermore, for the achievement of Kosen Rufu, he devoted himself to propagating true Buddhism in each region, encouraging his disciples and lay believers. His efforts accomplished outstanding results. The Daishonin's true Buddhism widely spread throughout many regions, from the Tohoku district in the east to Okayama and Kagawa in the west. Nikko Shonin transferred the Daigo Honson of the High Sanctuary of the Essential Teaching to Nichimoku Shonin and appointed him as the master of the seat of the law of the entire world. Then, at the age of 88, Nikko Shonin 
peacefully passed away on February 7, 1333, the third year of Genko. Nikko Shonin stated in the 26 admonitions of Nikko, Nikko Yuikai Okimon, that the principles of the Fuji school must be without even the slightest deviation from the propagation of our master. He admonished all disciples that they must correctly propagate the Daishonin's Buddhism far into the future. Based on his nature of sincerity and fortitude, Nikko Shonin dedicated himself to the prosperity of the true law throughout his life. He constantly maintained the spirit to save all mankind and upheld the precept of strict admonishment against a slander of the law. His achievements have been continuously passed down to Fuji Taisekiji today.